With a league full of young prospects, who are the top under 23 players in the Canadian Premier League? Well, we're going to talk about it in this week's video. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My name is Curtis, and you're watching my channel, AFC Curtis. You're home for all things Canadian Premier League content right here on YouTube. So if you're new here, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button. With a league based around young players and really a launch pad for those young players, I think it's only fitting I make a video about the top five under 23 players in the Canadian Premier League right now. And now, before we get started, I just want to say uh, I did set a bit of a cap here for this week's episode for this top five list. So in order to qualify for this li this list, because there's quite a bit of good players who are 22 years old at the start of the year, but will be 23 at the end of the season. So in order to cap those players and to make a true under 23 top three top five list here, um, the players that are on this list were were not 23 yet throughout the entire season, which means that they were 22 or younger throughout the entire CPL season. So from April 27th all the way to the first Sunday of November they were the age of 22 or younger they weren't 23 yet um, so the players that did turn 23 before the season was over like a Daniel Crutzen or um, as well as Marco Coducci those players unfortunately just missed the list just because of their birth years. Number five Cadell Thomas. So with the loss of Emery Welshman, there could be a spot for Cadell Thomas as a regular in the starting 11 moving forward, which would only push him up this rankings. And quick thing before I continue here, I do want to say Cadell does turn 23 this calendar year, but not until after the CPL season is complete. So therefore, he just makes a cut for this top five list of the top under 23 players. But he's definitely deserving of it. He's made history. He's the first ever Forge FC goal scorer. And he's probably one of the better super subs, I want to say, in the league. He's gotten a lot more starting time recently especially with Welshman's departure at the start of the uh, of August here. So he's looking really good and he's got prime. He's one of the top 20 goal scorers in the Canadian Premier League right now. He's convincing, he's able to score goals, he's able to make plays, and he's young. He's still 22, will be 23 at the end of the calendar year, but still really good positive player, really good positive piece, and deserves to be in the top five. Number four, Easton Ungaro. The month of August just seems to be Easton on Garo time as he's been popping off those goals lately. July, at the start of July, at the start of the fall season, he started to finally get those playing minutes and with FC Edmonton, his hometown club, and but he wasn't scoring many goals. And August comes and all of a sudden, goal, goal, goal. He got a hat trick, if I'm not mistaken, uh, a couple of games ago. He now has six goals right now, currently as of the recording of this video on August 26th here. So, I mean, it's unbelievable that he's got six goals. He's tied for third in the league in goal scoring. The guy just turned 21 one back in June so this is incredible this kid is on the rise definitely look out for him a lot of people are already calling him the next Dwayne Di Rosario but of course his manager Jeff Polis wants to keep those rumors and whatnot and potentials aside let the kid play his game and he's looking fantastic for it so definitely look out though for Easton Ongaro who's coming in at number four Number three, Noah Verhoeven. Noah Verhoeven here has looked fantastic for the Pacific FC. They're really stellar player for this team. He's been dependable. He's played and started pretty much every single match this series. He's played all over the middle of the park for them defensively, offensively, as a box-to-box -box midfielder. He's looked prime and fantastic. The guy's third on team assists right now. He's a great playmaker in the attacking part. He's good in tackles and clearances in the defensive part portion of the game. Overall, his overall package, he's done great. And he's only 20 years old which is incredible to think such a young player with a great high ceiling like that a good potential he's from the island there as well as even got called up back in June to the Canadian men's national team and trained with them right before the start of the gold cup so you gotta you gotta just think that he's gonna get a call up relatively soon to the Canadian men's national team he's such a good stud and such a good player and he's gonna be one to watch for the future number two Taryn Campbell you can't have an under 23 list and not have Taron Campbell pretty high up on that list as either one or two. This guy has been a stud for Pacific FC along with Noah Verhoeven. Like I mentioned in the Verhoeven section there, they do have Pacific FC does have a really good young uh, core of midfielders and he's definitely one of them at just 20 years old. He's been fantastic. He's hard to get off the ball. He's nice and strong. He's also fast and he's good on the wing. He's good as an attacking midfielder. He's good as a center forward for the team. And I mean, there's a reason why for a good portion of the season, he's been one of the top goal scorers in the Canadian Premier League because he's been such a good player. He's got him and his good dynamic duo partner there and Victor Blasco just scoring goals, the two of them. But Campbell right now is looking like a good stud. And I haven't heard too much in the rumor mill of him potentially leaving this winter to go to Europe or go to another club, which I please God please pray that he stays at least one more year in the Canadian Premier League because this guy is a good player to watch and I would love to see him more in the CPL for years to come. So Taron Campbell is definitely one to watch. Number one, Tristan Borges. 
Now, Tristan Borges is one of the top goal scorers in the CPL, one of the top shot producers in the CPL, and my God, this guy is one of the best players to watch in the CPL. I mean, he's so exciting to watch, so fast on the wing. Um, he's just an incredible player. He's a good playmaker. He's got good vision, good speed, good shots, everything all in one. He's only 20 years old, and this guy is incredible to play against or with, I'm sure, on the pitch there in the CPL. He's definitely one to watch and check out for. He's so good that he's already got clubs only a few months into the CPL, his CPL career. He's already got clubs in Europe and in Belgium salivating over the fact of potentially signing him this past or this coming winter here. So, I mean, it's incredible stuff here that Tristan Borges is putting together a, a fantastic first season in the CPL. One of the best players already in the league. He's definitely in the conversation, for me at least, as an MVP here. So, definitely watch out for Tristan Borges because this guy is one of the best under 23 Canadians, not just players, but Canadians in all of world football. Well guys, that was my list of the top under 23 players in the Canadian Premier League. Did I miss anybody? Well, tell me your list down in the comment section below. And of course, if you like this video, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, that like button, shows me like content just like this. And of course, maybe consider hitting that red subscribe button and a little bell notification so you can get notified each and every week when I drop a brand new episode just like this one. Plus you're part of a special little AFC Curtis community that you can really only find through my videos and right here on my channel. And of course, another great community to look up is the northernstarting11.com. I'll have a link for that website down in that description below. You're going to want to check it out because there's a bunch of great soccer related news and notes, podcasts, vidcasts, everything. I'm super proud to be part of this, uh, this network of shows. So definitely check it out. Everything you need for Canadian soccer, your appetite, everything for that is all in that one website. So check it out below. And until next time, guys, thank you so much for watching.